Drop it. You're dead. Get back to camp. He was dead. You assumed he was dead. Make that mistake in the field and you'll be arguing with God. Now move out. Yes, sir. You've been through two months training got three weeks left. Following graduation, most of us will resume undercover work. That explains the Elvis sideburns. <laughs> if you are to gain compliance in a physical confrontation, you must do it fast. In about 45 seconds, your strength will drop to 50% of normal, doubling your chances of being beaten or killed. I need a volunteer. Distract, destabilize, and deliver. As the aggressor approaches, distract with your hand, jab kick with your shin just behind and above the kneecap. In a fluid motion, take his wrist, bend his hand forward, apply pressure to the elbow. This will provide leverage in getting him to the ground. If the aggressor still resists, use your body weight by dropping onto his back, knocking the air from his lungs. Can we get any closer? We're gonna need a blood test. Okay. I'm the aggressor. Don't worry about hurting me. Distract. How's that? The United States intelligence community has been charged with the special mission of coordinating our nation's resources against the cyber criminal. This effort has resulted in the formation of the CIC, the Center for Intrusion Control. I'd like to present our first, and for the time being, only graduate, Agent Angela Bennett. You have a difficult road ahead of you, Agent Bennett. Good luck. Please welcome Captain Hayes, who will recognize the rest of the graduates. The following agents have shown outstanding Your family would be proud. Both in the classroom and in the training field. My father never trusted them. And we recognize them today. I read his file. Please approach the podium for so your I. hard one department. And if you're smart, you Agent won't follow Baker. in his footsteps. You understand me? Understood, sir. Agent Callahan. a group of computer terrorists. They erased my life. They made me into a criminal. I am not going to stop until I get my life back. But if they did this to me, they could do this to you. To you.
Anybody here? Hello? to the innocent girl I left eight weeks ago. I left her at the academy. I guess I'm a little paranoid. Well, this line of business, paranoia is your new best friend. <laughs> well, we are well acquainted. Come on. We use the store as a front, or our operations in back. Don't be too impressed. It's not done yet. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Oh, most of this is redundant. Do you want me to spec you some equipment? <laughs> no budget. Most of what you see here is what the other departments didn't want. So we're not exactly a high priority. Most of the higher-ups don't know what to make of the CIC. I have to show them what we can do. <laughs> what can we do? Well, new technologies created opportunities for crime where laws didn't exist before. <laughs> what exactly are you trying to do, Walter? I'm trying to get online for a website called Last Man Standing. Sounds like a spaghetti western. It's human cockfights. You mean like a sword fight? A pay-per-view internet webcast, smartass. For $49.95, you can watch a fight to the death. You mean people actually log online to watch guys kill each other? By the thousands. One giant step back for civilization. Isn't that a police matter? Which department? Nobody knows where the fights are being held. So the only known jurisdiction is cyberspace. And that's our territory. As of now, there's been six fights and all six challengers have either died or ended up missing. It's a perfect crime. I mean, commit murder in plain sight, charge admission, and hide behind the technology. There's no such thing as the perfect crime. All right, so we'll find where the webcast originates and we'll establish jurisdiction. It's not that easy. Excuse me, Walter. May I? Mm. Who hooked this sh stuff up? That's why you're here. I don't know. I don't understand the technology. I understand the possibilities. The CIC was my idea. Look, can you fix it? I can try. They're webcasting a fight today. We gotta be online by 7.30. Can you do it? If you don't know, maybe. Well, if you don't trace them soon, another fighter's gonna die. Yeah! Ah! Everybody ready? All four cameras patched? Okay, slick patches in. This guy's dead meat. Stand by the rolls. John, ready? Good, wait for the cue. Stand by open. In five, four, three, roll open. It's fight night! Two men enter, one walks away. No referee, no rule. Last man standing collects a one million be the next challenger for Mighty John Storm. Who will be the last man standing tonight? Oh! <clears throat> Our challenger, standing six feet tall, yeah. weighing in at 245 pounds, Bronco yeah. Billy Run! Yeah. Yeah. And now, the fighter you've been waiting for. Time last man standing champion and the most dangerous man on the planet, Mighty John Storm! Keep camera one wide, two tight on Johnny, and three real tight on the meat. I want to see his freaking eyes pop when he hits the mat. <laughs> Last man standing dot net, right? Right. Try this again. Great. Give me some booze here. Spin him already!
on the site. Connected. Credit card. Okay. Good. Is this for real? It gets worse. Ugh. Can you trace it? I sent out a ping, but they probably masked the relay site. I mean, it's probably a remote service with multiple routing and hops, and it's bonded to a... English, please. Oh, right, sorry. Um, I've put together a route map. Um, I am following in the reverse stream of the information, all right? Like, between the signal origin right here, the server that we're connected to... Oh, yeah, so we could be uplinking to a satellite and back down. Exactly. It's one possibility out of a dozen. All right, we just have to run them down and eliminate them one by one when we lose this signal. I can't find them. There's too many routers. What's he doing? The guy ain't finished yet. Keep the camera on run. Johnny! What the hell's going on? Finish him! It's over! People don't pay 50 bucks to watch some washout fight a Southside bartender. It ain't over if he's still breathing. Now get in there! We're running out of time. set this webcast up knew exactly what he's doing. When's the next fight? We're screwed. No, maybe not. We have video of the fight, right? What are you doing? Boy, are you new. We'll send these out on the wire and see if they look familiar to anyone. Oh, I knew hiring you was a good idea. Mm. You always going to take the credit? Mm-hmm. Fifteen thousand four hundred and seventy-eight hits. Best yes. And it still ain't fair. Don't start again. Where else are you gonna make ten grand to fight? Don King? Nineteen thousand people at fifty bucks apiece. Do yourself a favor, Einstein. Leave the math to me. You think I'm an idiot. But I ain't so dumb. You were the fry man at the burger barn when I found you. And that gives you the right to rip me off. I got contingencies, right? The truck, the equipment, credit card companies. I put your fights out on the net for the whole freaking world. I'm lucky I clear ten grand. Well, ain't nobody laughing at you. Who's laughing at A you? A bunch of people. And they say I'm fighting lightweights. And nobody's. If you wanted to fight contenders, you shouldn't have been shooting steroids at the Olympic trials. Everybody took steroids then. You couldn't beat the Soviets without them. Only I didn't know how to cheat right. Tough break. Next time, plan ahead. I'll show you. Everybody's gonna know my name. Everybody's gonna know that John Storm is the greatest fighter on the planet. If you were the greatest fighter on the planet, we wouldn't have to blind these guys to beat him. I'll be right. 
Hey, Q-Tip, what's up? Oh, that's pretty bold coming from a guy who looks like a student council president. <laughs> Got the pleasantries. What do you want? Oh, you know, you got Wagner, and Beethoven, it's with all the dead guys. Do you even listen to anything post-Paul McCartney? You mean like the mostly derivative, completely annoying trip-hop techno-pop you're listening to? Walter! Hey! <laughs> what? Hey. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've missed you. So... This is the new you, huh? It's the same me. Just now I know 37 different ways to kill with a pencil. <laughs> so how's life with Jay Edgar? Walter? It's okay. It's kind of weird having a boss. What? What what? You were going to ask me something. Well, I was thinking. Uh-oh. You know... You got that big apartment all to yourself, and you're gonna be gone most of the time, so... No, 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 you can't move in with me. Come on, I hate the dorm room, it sucks, it's like living in a white-collar prison. It's the college experience. Embrace it. Oh, you stop saying that. Please. Haven't you met any girls? All the freshman girls are dating seniors at this rate. I don't get laid until I'm in third year. <laughs> Angela, we got work. I'll be right back. Whoa, is this a Zybernaut 133? Oh, this is so cool. It's, this thing has got a GPS. It is voice activated, fully hooked. Oh, this is so sweet. It's wicked, isn't it? I'm going to try it out in the field. And look like I have a head injury. Hey. Walter? Yeah? Jacob can help us with this trace. No. Why not? Because he's got a head injury. No, we don't need him. I just got a fax from the Chicago Police Department about the photos we sent out. I sent them. Well, one of the photos that you sent out matches the description of a John Doe that turned up DOA. Bingo. We're going to Chicago. What's the CIC? What's a government agency? We're here about a John Doe that was found yesterday. <laughs> Which one? Uh, mid-30s, probably badly beaten. Uh, the police had you take his prints for ID. Oh, that's him, William Rudd. Fractured skull, broken ribs, punctured lung, ruptured spleen. He could have died three different ways. Who did this to him? He was in a fight. What kind of fight? It was a professional death match. He uh, lost, and we're looking for the winner. Were there any personal properties on him to distinguish him? A necklace or a ring or anything? Not when I got him, but he was married. How do you know that? Tan lines on his ring finger. Force a habit. I always look. I'm sorry, you can't go in. No, I want to see him. It was a fight, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I told him not to. I kept telling him. So you know about these fights? Not really. I, I mean, not much. Last man standing. No, I never heard that. But Billy told me he got work. He'd be away for a couple of days. I knew it was a fight. How did you know? That's all I knew how to do. Well, did he have a friend or anyone that could tell us about these fights? No, oh, I don't know in particular. I mean, he spends all his time at the gym. Which gym? I want to go home. This is Rudd. Which gym? He was all the family I had. You don't know how this feels. Yes, I do. 
My father gave this to me when I was a little girl. He told me to hold on to it whenever I was alone. I can't take this. You just keep it until you feel better. And then you send it back to me, so I know you've gotten back on your feet. You don't seem like a cop. <laughs> I'm new. Billy was the seventh man that was killed this way. You can help me. You can help me so it doesn't happen again. You know, most husbands spend all their time in bars and cheat around. I thought I was lucky he spent all his time in the gym. It's healthy, right? Mel's gym over on the fourth. Thank you. Wait, Walter. You know, if Mel doesn't stand for Melanie, he might be more willing to talk to a woman. But don't screw around. The last man standing people recruit their opponents from somewhere. Local gyms are full of tough guys. Which is why strong arm and improbably isn't a good idea. Let me try a different approach. Like what? Hello, beautiful. Welcome to Mel's. Is Mel here? You found him. You want to look around? No better place to get sweaty than with Mel. That's our motto. I like that. I like that very much. <laughs> I was wondering if I could ask you something else. Ask away. I want to see the fights. What fights? You know, last man standing. I don't know what you're talking about. My friend told me that you can help me out. What friend? Who? Oh, come on. I just want to see one for real. Oh, my God, that must be so exciting. Get the hell out of here. I have money. I'll, I'll pay. I've got cash. Get out of here now, or I'll throw your skinny ass out on the street. All right. We'll try this another way. See, I see. According to Billy Rudd's wife, you were the last one to see him alive. That's a load of bull. Hmm? A dozen people saw him before. So you knew he was dead? That's not what I said. You're a lousy liar. I've got nothing to say to you. For the record, you're refusing to cooperate in a federal investigation, right? Get the hell out of here. Sometimes finesse doesn't work, so I went to plan B. <laughs> Looking for these? Okay, so what's the charge? He didn't take me seriously. Oh, and that would be what, a felony? Up you go. Who runs the last man standing fights? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about accessory to murder. Go ahead, arrest me. I'll sue. Uncuff him, Ms. Liger. Little thing called proof. We'll figure out how to get some and we'll be back. Yeah. I want out, and I want my money now. But we got a deal. The deal is off. This is coming apart, and I want to get out now. Fine, suit yourself. I want my money today. Be nice to me, Bill. You're passing up a lot of cash. You know you'll want back in. I want my money. You'll get your money. What can he be doing here? I know he's 
involved. What's going on? Where's Remy? You know, he's not real happy with you, Mel. You shouldn't be doing him like you're doing. I'll send him some flowers. Where's the money? What's your money? Another one's gonna die unless we trace this. Isn't there a faster way? No. This guy is sleazy, but he's smart. He knows he can stage the fights more quickly than I can trace him. Look, he's routed all over the country. This would go a lot faster if I had some help. No. What is your problem with Jacob? He's a kid. There's over 200 routers. His help could help me save a life. <sighs> Hello, Roberts. Come on, Wally. Washington asked me to check up on you. <sighs> I'll be damned. What? That's Johnny Stern. You know him? He was a boxer out of St. Louis. Supposed to be on the U.S. Olympic team in 88. I don't remember him. Tested positive for steroids, so they bounced him. Now he's a punk. You got his file? Let's take a look. Come on. Hey, Jake. Are you there? Yes. I need you to help me trace a webcast. Uh, I'm just a kid. Are you sure I can be trusted? Oh, quit screwing around. I'm gonna send you the passcodes now. Walter doesn't want my help. I don't care. I want your help. What is this guy using? He's got tremendous bandwidth, right? How is he going to webcast real-time video? Well, he's bouncing it from satellite, but it's not emanating from DSC or, or ISDN or trunk lines. Jacob, cell phones. No, wait, there's not enough bandwidth to broadcast real-time video. No, but there would be. If you bonded together about a dozen phones, it would be almost untraceable. Then somewhere, there's a group of 10 or more phones linked together, bonded to the same server at the same time. You're a genius. Thank you. I'm on it. Dick was right. His name is John Stern. His last known address is four blocks from Mel's gym. We are going to Evanston. The fight? You found it? Yep. It's another warehouse, 399 Radley Street. It's 20 minutes away. Let's go. We can call the police on the way. Let's just hope we can make it on time. Mwah. Nothing, huh? Now I know what CIC stands for. Can't investigate crap. You ought to leave field work to professionals. Know any? 7 Delta 21. 7 Delta 21. Your John Doe is en route to Lincolnwood Hospital. Roger that. Hey, Szalski. Got one of your fighters in the hospital. Dr. Finkman? Yes? We were told that you were just working on a badly beaten white male. Friend of yours? We we're trying to find out what happened to him. He had internal bleeding. I sent him to surgery. Was he conscious? Did he say anything to you? He was comatose. Sorry. Was there anything at all that was unusual about his injuries? Actually, there was. Uh, his eyes were slightly opaque, like the cornea had been exposed to heat. Maybe burned. Does that help? Maybe. Thank you. 
We gotta find out where the fight is being held before it starts. Well, the only way we're gonna do that is if you become a challenger. That's it. What? Oh, you're gonna fight John Storm? No, we just have to find someone to last long enough to catch these guys in the act. Hmm. I know, just the guy. You run autopsies on these guys? There were no drugs or poisons found in any of the victims' bodies. You mean the challengers? No, I mean the victims. If John Storm gets an advantage, he won't stop until you're dead. That's not a problem. Your division simply made you available to us. This is strictly volunteer, you understand? Yes. See Mel. Well, that's gonna be tough. Cause he's uh dead. You the new boss? Depends on what you want. Mel said he could hook me up with the fights. Just wait here. Fair. There's a guy outside looking for Mel. Mel's dead. Yeah, I told him. But he said Mel was going to set him up for the fights. Look at him. He's been in there over an hour. Let's give it a while longer. I'm worried. So you want to be rich? It's 1999. A million dollars isn't rich anymore. So I'm going to blow it on a condo in Aspen. You worry about winning first. I'm not worried. Storm has never lost. I'm gonna change all that. Oh, you are? Yeah. I'm the most dangerous man on the planet. <laughs> Ninth guy has told me that this month. All of them dead. My condolences. So how does this work? Simple. Fight to the finish. You beat Storm, you get to buy your condo. So when do I fight? Tonight. Something's wrong, it's taking too long. I can't believe we let this happen. We're not cops, Angela. We don't have the resources. Well, now Brody's going to be in a real fight. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's fight night. Tonight's challenger, standing six foot four and weighing 275 pounds, from parts unknown, Flash Malone. Now listen to me, Storm. You get into trouble, set him up. It's gonna be a straight up fight. I could beat this guy. We ain't got a million bucks to pay out, so I hope you're right. <laughs> Won't matter to me if I'm wrong. I'll be dead. <sighs> Whatever. You get into trouble, bring him into the corner. If you can knock him out early, go for it. Then we can uh, get out of here. All right. And now. The fighter you've been waiting for. The most dangerous man on the planet. Mighty John Storm! All right, I've narrowed it down. I sent you a grid. Start moving that way. Hurry up, the fight's already started. All right, got it. Take the freeway north. All right, now I found a pack of 10 stolen cell phones coming out of a repeater there when I checked out the phone company. How did you do that? I use Walter's name. That okay? No, that's not okay. That is a federal offense, Jacob. 
Oops. What's a federal offense? Nothing, just drive. Make sure you lock that door. I don't want them trying to get out. Don't worry. I'm not. Two men enter, one walks away. Who will be the last man standing tonight? Mr. Szelski, Dr. Cantor. You were right. His retinas were burned. Like you were staring at the sun. Thanks, Doc. Thanks a lot. What's up? Bad news? Billy Rudd's eyes were burned. Just like the other guys. So that's how they're cheating. They're blinding the challengers. We gotta find Brody. Angela, check this out. He's got it. 892 Industrial Drive. Take over. When he gets him into position, tell Barry to hit the lasers. Star! Now! Set him up now! Are you okay? She shot someone. I know. Look at me. You didn't have any choice. Okay. Why do I feel so bad? I know. I know. It's okay. Wally, give it a chance. Are you still angry? Shouldn't I be? You betrayed my trust by giving him the passcodes. I had to. Brody's life was in danger. You were being stubborn and I was right. That's the only reason you're still working. Don't ever lie to me again. Don't ever give me a reason to. Well, Louie, this looks like the beginning of an impossible friendship. So is Brody okay? He's okay. What did Faraday say? Remy Sloan is recuperating. Hopefully, he'll be healthy enough for his execution. 
And Faraday said you did a good job. Uh, now you're lying to me. Is she going to give us new equipment? No. Hey, Walter. You're welcome. Thanks for your help. You know, we never would have gotten into that warehouse without Jacob. Nice try. He stays in school. I almost forgot. Um, this came for you. Is everything okay? Yeah.